Here are some tips and tricks for using your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. So let's take it to the test. You can compare expressions using the test feature to get a true or false answer. I'll show you a few examples, so stick with me. Start with the second key. It activates the pretty blue commands over the keys. So, to enter the square root of 20, press second, square root, it's the blue command over the x squared key, 20, and the right arrow. Then, open the test menu by pressing second, test. Select the equal sign and press enter. Plug in the second expression, two, second, square root, five, and enter. You see that one? That means the statement is true. The expressions are equivalent. I'll show you again, but this time I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Enter the first expression. Open the test menu, select the equal sign, enter the second expression. What's different? Right, the result is zero. That means the statement is false. So, right again, the expressions are not equivalent. You can also use the test feature to check inequality statements. Let's start with a simple one. Enter negative eight. Open the test menu. Scroll to the greater than sign, select it, and finish the statement. And the result is zero. That means the statement is false. Let's do another example, but with a little more work. Is the absolute value of 17 minus 25 greater than or equal to five. Start with the alpha key, then F2, press enter, 17 minus 25. Now right arrow, then select the greater than or equal to, five, and finish the statement. What was the result? That's right, it's a one. So the statement is true. Great job. We've used this feature for some simple questions, but you can apply this strategy anytime you need to compare expressions or check inequalities. The tips and tricks document has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. I also have a bunch more tips and tricks for test success videos, so check them out. And hey, good luck on that exam.